You know what time it is. What's up, yo? I've been waiting patiently-ish for these guys to finally get here. And yesterday, my green came in at long last. Um, remastered Red, uh, I'm super stoked for. The helmet design looks way better than the atrocity that is the first go-around where they gave him, like, just the girth of his visor is preposterous. Green was also um, not the best. Uh, his visor's proportions were also a little off. So I'm looking forward to see how the new molds stack up against them. I, I'm also excited to see how the new gold shield looks. Because um, I've always felt like the original MMPR green release shield kind of just looked like fondant. Like if you got cake from, uh, from the cake boss. So, uh, let's get into it. I think I'm gonna start with green so first. So, I'm, I haven't been a fan of the box art since they switched away from the Waylon art. Um, I thought that, I mean, it's, the word iconic is overused, especially in this fandom, but I think it's, it's iconic box work, um, box work, box artwork. But this, I was kind of pleasantly surprised. The side is cool, um, and it's cool. It looks like they actually, they painted in the morphers, um, actually paid attention to that detail they actually have the white on the blasters and daggers and everything um the face mold as far as i can tell from the box doesn't really look a lot like jdf um but i guess we're gonna have to open it up and see i'm also curious to see if they actually secure these better not really um i mean it's a bigger box so that probably kind of helps keep it safe but you know you'd think if you're doing the remaster and you want it to be special you'd probably want to protect the investment so to speak a little bit better um it looks like let's open up his accessories first so yeah we got our little super saiyan looking swooshy thing uh that's cool the helmet is like spot on accurate um a little bit of inconsistency I'll show you when we get closer, but comparatively, it's a lot better. I feel like the center piece here is a lot more proportional to the original release, um, as well as the visor is actually um, just a little bit better distributed. So yeah, um, here's the helmet from the original drop. You can see the the black, it just doesn't look right to me. And it felt like the helmet came to a very clear vertex in the front. Um, and the green is also just wrong. You can see this is almost like a like a hunter forest green. This is the green that it looked like on screen. Um, yeah, this one, it had weird black paint on it. This one, it just is missing a little bit of silver down here. That's not really that big of a deal. Um, but when you see them side by side, you can see the original release here is a little more slender in the front, a little bit tighter. This gives it a little more room to breathe. I think it's a much better sculpt uh, in my opinion. I think it's very sick that we get the dragon dagger, uh, and it's extremely well done also. Uh, thoroughly painted, even with the little gold inlays up within the blade and the green accents on the side. Uh, you can see they really put... It's almost one-for-one one accuracy for the little flute that's in there. You'll, I'll bring you closer, you'll see. But... Alright, the morpher's a little janky. But it's cool for what it is. Well, let's let's get to the real stuff. Let's get. They taped him. You know how they come now in this little thing. They actually taped him to it so he doesn't slide around. So I guess they did put a little extra effort in. But it's making it extremely difficult to get him out of the box without ripping it. So I guess I have to rip it. The feet come out all janked as usual. Um, yeah, this face is terrible. It looks like Mr. Tumnus from Narnia shaved. Um, honestly, it looks like it's almost the same face. It's just painted differently, and they gave it tighter contours. I'll put them up side by side. Um, yeah, I don't know. Um, the green is brighter on this one throughout, which is cool. I, I just don't like this face mold. It's cool, though. I'll put it on my turbo because it doesn't have a headband. 
so it'll work a little bit better. And also, it's made for this generation body. Um, I still am not a fan of the drop hips. I, I liked it so much better when they didn't have the drop hips. Um, cool. It's movable. It's cool. Um, not terrible. It is really cool having a, a Green Ranger figure with the white diamonds on it. Uh, you'd see it a lot in toys and prints back in the 90s. Um, even though it was very rarely seen on screen. Um, no, you know what? I'll give it to them. This one is sturdy. I, I, I think it might just be the packaging difference. Just that little bit of tape might have helped a lot. Because uh, he is a lot more cohesive than the Lightspeed Rescue Blue that I opened yesterday, uh, who wasn't taped in place. I love the candle. It's a little bent from the way that it's packaged, but it is sick. It is super cool. Getting that little nod to the exact episode that it's from. Like you see in comic book toys a lot, like DC specifically, will do stuff where uh, it's like in one issue, Batman's a little different, and they'll make a figure for that, for that figure, uh, for that, you know, specific issue. Uh, it's cool to see this in Power Rangers. I know there's like a lot of different things they could do, and I know they do it a lot more with just battleizers, um, even though battleizers are prominent for a lot more than just one episode usually. Um, but yeah, he stands. He stands. Great, and it comes with little karate hands. Oh, it has a hand for playing the flute. Super cool. Uh, of course, the classic just fists, and then, yeah, his fight hands. He's like, yeah. Um, weapons, like I said, are fully painted. Uh, very cool. Um, we got this on a Kimberly figure, uh, but I don't think all of them came, all the MMPR figures came like this. Uh, or was it Cat, maybe? Yeah, I know the Cat in, uh, in the Cat 2 pack. Uh, MMPR pink header, things fully painted. Let's see how he holds. The Mofa. I can't really get it to stay in his hands properly. I'm pretty sure It'd be better in other hands. Yeah, they have hands for it specifically. So it would hold like this. In this hand. Pretty cool. Um, I'll swap them out later. But we got a whole nother figure to get. So I have mixed feelings about the original MMPR Red release. Um, the visor was terrible. The color inconsistencies on the figure were just god awful. There was like four different reds going on. But the face mold was pretty much identical uh, to what Austin St. John actually looks like. Um, the His sword also extremely well done. I know we don't get a civilian head mold in this go-round. Um, but it looks like everything he's coming with is super cool. And again, this is another like episode specific where he gets the shield from Tommy. Um... I'm just excited that the armband and shield both come off. So if I want to display him like this, display Tommy in the shield, I can. Um, I also, I ordered two Tommies. Just to have one with it, one without. Um, oh man, the, the knee joints, dude. This is bad. This is already not great. Um, they have this... They have this problem. I don't understand why. Where the elbow joints are darker. The knee joints are darker. It looks like they're wearing like knee pads. Um, the shield does look a lot better. Um, and so does the helmet. I'll show you. Side by side. This here is the original, and you could see all the different reds, and here's the visor, dookie. Um, here is the new helmet. Way better, uh, way sleeker. I think 
obviously way more screen accurate, but now I just want to see what it's like when I put all of his accessories on. So it's cool to take it off. They kind of employ uh, the same type of little mechanism that they use for Lord Zed's tubing, uh, where it's just a little punch hole and a peg. Um, man, the reds are still inconsistent throughout. The leg are one color. This is one color. And then the arms are another color. I, the reds and pinks, they just can't seem to do properly. I mean, it's a lot better than this one, where it's like noticeable immediately that he's burgundy. Um, but I digress. <clears throat> Still looks sick. Way sicker than the first round. Um, trying to put it in. And the sword is much more detailed. Um, you can see he has his little green dots in there, even down to that, um, inlays in the blade, way better figure than the original, um, and I like the way that they painted the badges on the waistband now, it's, it's actually painted black instead of just having, uh, an embossment on it, um, when I bring you closer, I'll show you what I'm talking about. Here we go, uh, here is the new... Green Ranger, you can see the colors being off a little bit more this close. Um, it's not my lighting. This is actually how different it is throughout. It looks a little bit better in person. Um, but yeah, this shield is way, way better, uh, I think, than the initial release. And here you can see the visors. Way sleeker design. This, it's almost night and day, like, in the way where the American and Japanese footage are easily discernible when you watch the show. My only real complaint here is that the golds don't match up at all. Um, I mean, to be fair, it wasn't made for this figure, but whatever. And here you can see the difference I was talking about in the belt. Much better looking. Um, and here, yeah. First wave MMPR red. I think it's overall pretty doo doo. And here is our remaster. Again, way better in the in the helmet department. Um, but just still the the inconsistencies abound. Um, it is really cool that we have the black trim on the holster now too. And we can see here side by side the dragon dagger from the original release. Uh, does not have the gold really on the flute at all that's in the actual blade but it is thoroughly painted here and here's up close on the new so yep that's uh it's about all i got i will say my final thoughts i think the remasters do look a lot better both in helmet sculpt um and color consistency really the, the highlight i think is the helmets. Helmets look a lot better. Um, getting the Tommy head sculpt with no bandana is cool, like I said. If you want to like, Tommy eyes your turbo red. Um, shields, much better looking. Um, and that's about it. I wish we got a civilian head mold uh, for MMPR red. Uh, it's fine. I don't think that they were going to get it as good as they did the first time. Um, so yeah, I don't know. Did you get the remasters? What'd you think? Let me know. Peace.